I started out with studying ceramics at school and loved it. Um, everything exploded, but it was the process that I really liked and sort of you could, it was quite therapeutic, I guess. It was you in your own thoughts and that's what I loved. But anyway, when I left school, I studied fashion for a fair few years and it wasn't quite right for me. And I went back to ceramics, which I've just loved ever since. I was hooked, hooked on ceramics. And I've learned all the different processes of ceramics, all different firings. I was in a wood-fired group. I worked for a potter and did soda firing. I loved slipwear and did different illustrations. But now I've sort of honed in on what I'm doing now, which I really love. And I think relating to fashion, I think I'm using a lot of the trends and the colours that are appealing to people at the moment. And I, I quite enjoy being in the studio and creating and then thinking, oh, is it good enough? And then getting out there and putting it all together. And it all comes together as a collection and you can style it and simple because people can envisage it in their own home. It's, it's not intimidating for people. And with the choice of colours and shapes and what have you, people can mix and match and yeah, in, just envisage it in their own home and use it every day. So they're not sort of keeping it for a special occasion. I want it to be used. So I'll start with a bag of clay and I'll wedge it up and make sure there's no air and it's all lovely and smooth. And I'll get on the wheel and throw all my pots. I'll spend days throwing. And then as the clay goes leather hard, which is hard enough to hold, it won't distort the pot, I will then turn all the work. So I'll create the final shape of the pot and then the work is left to dry. And it's left to dry, well, it depends what the weather's like. So it could be a few days, um, could be a week. And once it's dry, it's ready to go in a bisque firing, which I'll put in the kiln and it'll be fired to about a thousand degrees and that means it'll be ready to glaze. So it's still porous, it's not been fired too high, so I can then dip and glaze my work. Once it's glazed, it'll have like a powdery coating all over it, and I'll put it back in the kiln and fire it to about 1,270 degrees. And that'll take a day to fire, a day to cool, and then it's ready to open the kiln and see, see what's happened. And sometimes there's a few mistakes. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, I'll get it out to galleries and shops.
but every day I'll have a day throwing. So I'll, I'll use my potter's wheel and I'll, I'll throw stoneware clay um, and make functional pottery. Um, and then the next day I might be making up a batch of glazes, which I'll, I'll make from scratch using raw materials. And I've um, developed my own glaze over the years, um, which is quite a matte, smooth glaze. I quite like the look of that. And I'll use different colour pigments to create the, the tone and the range, I guess, that I want in my work. So, yeah, it's just a very varied life of making, glazing, turning, show applications, going out and meeting people, meeting gallery owners. I work two shows and meeting customers, which is always really lovely. After working on my own for so long in the studio, to get out there is, yeah, it's really, it's really nice. So the repetitive nature of clay, sort of the, repeating these processes day in, day out, is sort of, it just, it's, suits my way of life and my personality. I love being on my own in my own thoughts and then getting out there and bringing it all together and meeting people and yeah, so it's just sort of a bit of both.